what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today is a solo truck camping trip in the back country so as you can see i've already got the truck pulled in on a nice level surface i have a beautiful view at a lake just behind the camera i've got an excellent fire pit of stone just off to the side now it is time to get set up so let's get the tent all put together and the sleeping stuff all arranged and then we can start having some fun Okay guys, I've got the cot and my entire sleep system already set up and everything is looking really, really good. Now, I will say it is extremely windy out here today. It's not terribly cold, but we're on the edge of a lake, so there is quite a breeze coming in off the lake. That is actually a good thing today. So I have a little bit of electronics that I brought with me because I'm not actually doing one night. I'm doing two, but I'm only going to film one. So. I have a fridge, food, electronics. I've got to get that set up so my food stays cold in the fridge. So let me show you what I brought with me. All right, guys, today I have three sources of free power. Uh, I brought my wind lily turbine. I brought my Nightcore battery pack. I also brought my Nightcore large solar panel. It's folded up right now. But I want to explain this really quickly, why I brought so much power. I am out here for two days, not one. I'm only filming one, and then tomorrow I'm going to be moving to a different location for another night. Now today, on the edge of the lake, it is very, very windy. The Wind Lily Turbine is going to work great for not only charging this, but keeping other electronics moving. The solar panel could also be used today, but as you can see, spotty sunshine, spotty clouds. It's not going to be 100% reliable. The battery pack is already 100% charged, so that is ready to go perfectly. So I'm going to get this plugged into my fridge while I assemble the Wind Lily, and then I'm going to cycle between both whatever I need to do, because it is at 100% now, so I can use it. And then when it goes down to about 60 or 70%, I may take it off, plug it in the Wind Lily, charge it back up, plug the fridge in, and go from there. Okay, so I'm actually going to assemble this down here on the side of the truck where there's no wind. 
because that wind is just destroying the microphone. So what I want to carry on with that is I do have an additional video on all of my off-grid power options from water turbine, wind turbine, solar panels, batteries, etc. If you are interested in a closer look at this stuff, I'll put the link to the video down in the description and you can go and find out more about off-grid power. But I'm just going to assemble the blades on this wind lily. Like I said, it is incredibly easy. I have a tripod with me and I'm going to mount it on the tripod and I'm probably going to set it over here somewhere it's off to the side of the truck because the cable that it comes with is quite long and I can run it into the window of my truck and plug it in the battery or into the fridge. So I have a couple options there, but I'm just going to get it assembled now, get it on the tripod and then we'll go from there. Alright guys, I've got the fridge plugged directly into the battery for now. I'm not going to plug the water lily into it because the wind is coming and going and all that's going to do is turn the fridge off and on all day and it's not going to be good for the fridge. So I'm going to use the water lily only for topping up the battery and I'll use the battery for the fridge.
All right, guys, I'm all finished up with my coffee, and I'm just getting ready to split up some of this wood and cut it down to size. Now, I did collect this on the trail driving in here, and I actually collected a little bit of pre-burned campfire wood on the other side of the truck that I found at various camps on the way here. So I got a little bit lucky with firewood, but I do still have to cut it up. So I'm going to process this up and get it ready for the fire pit. Okay guys, I'm batoning down some of this firewood that I found along the way and as you can see it's already been burned before. It is extremely dense hardwood and it is splitting like butter. So this stuff is absolutely dry, really dense, going to burn really well. I batoned down a bunch of it. I'm just going to do this last piece and I'm probably going to only burn a little bit of this and then I'm going to prop some of it underneath of the tent cot in the truck bed up on the 2x6 that's supporting it. That way if it does rain overnight this stuff will be nice and dry for tomorrow morning if I do wish to have a campfire. If not, I'll bring it to my next location with me in the back of the truck and go from there. So I'm going to split this piece down. I'm going to collect a bit of birch bark off in the distance there. I can see it hanging in a tree. And then I'm going to come back here, get the campfire going, and then start cooking supper.
Okay guys, I've got the fire going, I've got my table set up, I've got my chair set up. I'm pretty comfortable right where I'm at. As you can see, the wind is blowing everything that way, so I think I'll be sitting right here this evening. Now the sunshine is gone, but the wind is still here, so I'm going to be working kind of in the wind with the fire. So it might be a little bit difficult cooking, but I think if I stay on this side, I'll be perfectly fine. So I did bring my titanium wok with me. I've got a bunch of food. I'm gonna be cooking a pasta dish over the fire and sitting right here and enjoying it. So I'm gonna get all my stuff together and start cooking. All right guys, I've got my wok over the fire right now, so that water is gonna come to a nice boil before I can get my pasta in there. But right now, I'm just coming over. I have to get the wind lily set up because I've actually gone through one battery on my camera already. So I've got a USB charger. I've got a USB connector for the wind lily. I'm just gonna get all this connected, get it set in the wind and start charging my first camera battery.
Okay guys, I've just finished up with my supper and I've got all my dishes cleaned up, all the food cleaned up. Everything is ready for sunset, if we do get a sunset. But I can see right now, way off in the distance, we've probably got about an hour and a half left of sunlight. I'm gonna chill out right here in my chair, sipping on my brew, and uh, basically just relax for a little bit. And then I'm gonna get some more firewood on the fire and get that thing blazing hot. Alright guys, it's getting very close to nightfall, it's fairly dark out right now and I'm going to be getting the rain fly on the tent. The sky is still full of clouds, it's still windy and I feel like it's probably going to rain tonight or early in the morning. So, one thing I am going to do with the rain fly is I'm going to leave all these solid panels on the, the foot end, the head end, and on the front. I'm going to leave those rolled up, but I am going to close all the mesh panels. The reason for that is the head end and the foot end of the rain fly actually have vents. And if it's gonna rain, I want zero condensation inside of the cot. So I'm gonna leave these open for a nice draft. I do have a down sleeping bag rated for minus 18 and it's not even gonna go down to zero degrees tonight. So I'm gonna be plenty warm. So that's the plan. I wanna get the rain fly on really quickly and hopefully the wind is not a problem getting that on. But as soon as I'm done that, I'm gonna head back over to the campfire and start my relaxation. Okay guys, I got the rain fly on and it went on pretty easy. I'm actually quite surprised with the wind. Everything went on first try, no issue. I'm just getting a light plugged in here in my battery bag and I'm gonna grab my headlamp and my flashlight because it is getting dark and I'm gonna need it very shortly. So that's plugged in, I've got my headlamp, I've got my flashlight. I'm gonna jump in the back of the truck, check on the Nightcore battery, grab a beer and head over to the campfire. So let's zip this up and let's grab a beer. <laughs> Okay guys, give you a little update on the battery situation. It's been on all day, have not turned it off at all. The fridge is currently at two degrees Celsius, so it's fairly cold. The output on the battery right now is four watts and it is at 80% charged. And it says 74.9 hours of runtime left at that output. So. I gotta say, that's pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna grab a cold brew here. And, 
Oh yeah, that's nice and cold. That's awesome. So I'm just gonna grab this. Uh, we're gonna hold it at, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put it to, uh, I don't know, maybe eight degrees Celsius overnight instead of having it kick in every hour and a half, every two hours. So like I said, it's at two degrees Celsius now. Before I go to bed, I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna bump it up to the minimum temperature of eight degrees Celsius. Uh, because there's not really food in there that's going to be terribly bad. So I don't have any meat left over. I just have uh, vegetables and a couple other things in there. So eight degrees Celsius will be perfectly fine for that. Plus drinks, I got some pop and whatnot in there. So, so far so good. 80% for the whole day is not bad. So tomorrow morning, I think what I'm gonna do is pop it on the water lily and get some power going back into it. And, uh, and then tomorrow, like I said, I'll probably end up later on in the day putting it on a solar panel and bringing more life back inside of it for the following night. But so far, so good, guys. All right guys, after a long day of work and driving and traveling and getting firewood and all that stuff, it is now time to relax. So I am definitely going to enjoy this campfire and then I'm gonna enjoy my comfy bed in the back of the truck later on tonight. So basically this is all I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the evening is just relaxing right here in front of the campfire. And so far I gotta say I'm having an awesome time. Very, very relaxing out here definitely enjoying it so i'm going to basically like i said chill out with my drink campfire and it's time to relax guys so i'm going to shut the camera off and i'll check in with you guys before i head into the truck for bed guys it has now been about two hours i've been sitting in front of the campfire just relaxing and it is a dark 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 out right now so i did put a log on the fire for some ambient lighting because it actually does light up inside of the cot so when i crawl in there i can enjoy a little bit of the glow from the fire watch my movies like i usually do when i'm out camping and then just go off to sleep so i'm going to be jumping in right now i'm going to say good night to you guys i'm going to jump in close the tailgate get tucked in and i'll catch you guys in the morning
Good morning guys, it is a very windy morning out here today and I'm tucked in on the side of the truck right now, kind of getting out of the wind so you guys can hear me a little bit better. I've had my coffee, I've had my oatmeal, breakfast is all squared away and I'm just getting ready to get the battery unplugged from the fridge and get it plugged into the wind lily because we got wind today and no sun so it's a good thing I brought that and a solar panel because if I would have brought one or the other I would have been out of luck so that wind lily is definitely going to be charging up that battery today and uh, hopefully it'll do a good job while I'm sitting here and then I move to my next location. So let's check on the battery and then unplug it, plug it in the wind lily, put some juice back into it and then continue packing up. Okay, so we're at 76% and that ran all night long. So let's unplug this, shut that off, power that off, unplug. And let's get the wind lily hooked up to this. Okay guys, I got the battery plugged into the turbine on the other side of the truck. I put the battery in the wheel well to keep it out of the rain if it does start to rain. And of course I'm back on this side of the truck hiding from the wind again. So right now the battery is giving me a readout of 8 to 9 watt input from the wind lily. And it is cranking. I mean you do not want to get your hands near that windmill at all while that is going. So to slow it down, you just loosen off the ball head of the tripod and slowly spin it out of the wind direction. And then you can actually put your hand on the center disc to kind of use it as a handbrake and then it stops. But don't put your hands anywhere near that thing while it's going, because it is going fast. So putting in eight to nine watts, it is giving me an estimated time of 17 hours to bring that battery to 100%, which is very respectable because it's not meant for a short time charge it's made for a long-term charge. So if I were out here on this spot for four or five days in the truck, I would have no problem charging my batteries, my phone, everything that I need to live right here with my electronics and camera, I would have no problem. So I'm gonna let that do its thing and whatever energy I end up putting into the battery is bonus because I'm not gonna need 100% of that battery today. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing. And in the meantime, I'm gonna start packing up. Okay guys, I've got everything packed up right now. I've got the tent cut down in the back of the truck bed. I've got everything else in the cab of the truck. Everything went together really, really well. So I am now ready to basically head to location number two. Like yesterday I explained, I'm not gonna be bringing you guys along for that video because I'm taking a night to myself and I have a bunch of new gear that I'm not ready to put in front of the camera. So I do have to test that to make sure I like it. And then if I like it, it'll become part of my regular use kit and then I'll share it with you guys. That's how I do things on the channel. So I'm gonna be heading to location number two. I'm gonna enjoy another night all by myself. Bring you guys up to speed on the battery before I let you guys go. I did put another 8% into the battery during pack up and enjoy my coffee. So that's a very large battery and to put 8% in a large battery in about two hours, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to use that up today, probably plug it in again on the wind turbine later on and maybe charge up my headlamp and whatnot to save some juice in the battery just to have a little bit of extra fun, you know? So I'm going to be heading to location number two now. I'm going to say peace out to you guys. Drop all your comments and questions down in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you and peace out guys. See you in the next video.